Hi friends, my name is Ellipse and welcome to an Empire of Ellipse tutorial. Today I'll be demonstrating the item sorting system using hoppers, comparators and redstone. This is the system I use in my single player world uh, for the survival Minecraft. First I have a setup of the system just showing three segments and just to understand how these things work I need to, under, uh, need to talk about each of the steps. The first thing you need to understand is that a hopper will not receive an item if it is powered by redstone. So this one is not powered by redstone so it will receive an item but the one next to it is powered by redstone and so will not receive any items from it above. So there's items here but they will not drop down because it's powered by redstone. The next thing to understand is the hoppers if it's full like this will only be able to receive more items of the same kind. Thirdly, once these hoppers can drop items it'll, first, it'll drop from the first slot um, not these second slots until this first slot is dropped. Uh, thirdly, fourthly, the number of items in a drop in a hopper um, will give off a redstone signal. So this signal here is currently giving out a strength of one with this many items: 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 items gives off one block. Another item will push it over and it will send two uh, a signal of two blocks length. Once it is a second block length the repeater will pick it up and unpower the torch which allows an item to drop but as soon as that item has dropped then there's no longer enough strength to send off that signal and so the torch will go back on locking this hopper. Next thing to understand is that hoppers will drop an item below them before they move them in the direction that they are moving and so the items here will drop down if possible if not then they'll move across. So let's just show you we have three items that can be sorted and if we just put them all in the chest here one two three they'll go down through this item and you'll see that this is dropping it's a trap chest so it won't drop while it's open but there's items in here the numbers are going down and it's moving through the system first it can't then the seeds are in here this is full so it can't drop down so it moves across this is full so it can't drop down it moves across goes into here and it goes down into this chest so you'll see that this is full of all those um, we have the cobblestone coming through at the moment and so if you look here you'll see that it's pulsing letting through one item at a time and that's going down into that chest almost done so all the items have gone through now you'll see that this sorter actually works I've picked up three items similar to these items here so we have seed iron ore and cobblestone and I'll put in here stone brick, gold ore and melon seeds and you should see that none of these will go through, in fact they all should go at the end here because they couldn't fit down into any of those slots so almost all through and now all, all six of each item are there okay how to do this, what you'll need for each uh, thing you want to sort you'll need three hoppers five blocks, it could be any kind of building blocks one redstone torch, two redstone, one redstone repeater, one com comp comparator. Now with each layer you need to alternate the kind of chest you have so you can stack them. In this case I'll just have a normal chest. You need whatever item you want to be sorted and 21 of a sorting item. Now it's important when you choose your item to sort it that it's not one that you're going to be putting in there because otherwise it will just um, accumulate with that um, sorting item rather than the one you want it to filter and it will, it will move that one down rather than the sorting item. So as you can see we're going to need a torch underneath our hopper and a repeater. So let's just set that up. Repeater, torch. Now the position of the hoppers is really important. You want the bottom hopper to be heading towards the chest. Chest hopper. Now to click onto a chest you need to do shift and then do your item and that will make Okay so we have this hopper will point into that as soon as it has is unpowered by this redstone. Next we need um, the two blocks along there. Put redstone and a comparator. Now I like to put the comparator facing in the sorry the hopper facing into the comparator like that. What this means is 
it won't naturally move the item left or right because it's going into nothing. So we'll just keep any items there until they go down. Now I've put that in the wrong spot. Let me just grab that. Now this item, we put our filtering, filtering item and fill it up. So it's 18111. Now this is due to these stacking to 64. Um, if you had items you want to filter that only stacked into 16, then this would reduce how many you would have here. Okay, so we have just a couple bit more to do. Next we want the items to go to the left or right. So what this means is you could stack them leading across here, pointing this way, and you'd start your filtering at this end and they'd move across into this one. And then as I got here, they'd drop down. Okay, so there are all the items you need to do one row or one filtering station. I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.